According to events platform Burbio, the percentage of K-12 students in the United States that are attending virtually only school stands at 27.5 percent. A lot of kids that are still doing that, but that is the lowest point since the tracking began. The nonprofit Khan Academy has tried to bridge the gap between in-person and remote learning. Khan Academy's founder and CEO, Sal Khan, joins us right now to talk about the tough lessons that we've learned over the last school year. And Sal, so let's just start with what we know and maybe what we don't know about what the impact will be long term on those kids who have missed out on up to a year's worth of school in person. Yeah, the, the, we have a few data points on what we know. Uh, you know, we've had the latest test scores come out from the fall to measure learning loss. And to some degree, they weren't as bad as expected, especially in things like reading and writing. Uh, they were kind of roughly as bad as expected uh, in math, where we saw some learning loss. But the big asterisk on that is these were just for the students they were able to assess. Uh, there's 10, 15 percent of students who have kind of fallen off the radar since COVID began. And those are obviously the students that you most worry about that probably would have likely pulled the averages down. So uh, the data we're seeing has some things to worry about. And then on top of that, uh, we know that there's a good chunk of kids that we've lost. And so as we go back, there's going to be, you know, what I've described as a disaster recovery uh, to make sure that those kids don't fall further off track. You have been doing your part to try and help those kids through this time, those people who need some additional help. And for those who aren't familiar, Khan Academy offers all kinds of courses and learning and teaching online where you really started out as a tutor for your cousin. And now it's ballooned into this situation where you have something like 120 million people around the world who are using you. Yeah, back in 2004, I, I actually used to be more in y'all's world. I used to be an analyst at a hedge fund, and my cousin uh, Nadia, at the time she was 12, she needed tutoring, and then word spread in my family, free tutoring was going on, and before I knew it, I was tutoring many, many cousins, and uh, you know, I started making software for them, making videos for them, and before I knew it, man, many other people's cousins were using Khan Academy, and I, as you mentioned, uh, <laughs> over 100 million folks, and you know, when COVID hit. Khan Academy's usage grew by a factor of three. We normally see about 30 million learning minutes per day on Khan Academy. That grew to 85, 90 million. We had 12 billion learning minutes wow. last year. Uh, but on top of that, the synchronous learning has been really difficult for folks. So I uh, started a new not-for-profit, schoolhouse.world. Actually, Zoom, I know you have Kelly on uh, right after me, uh, uh, donated a bunch of licenses so we can give free tutoring to folks. So schoolhouse.world uh, complements what you can do on Khan Academy. You can get unlimited practice and instruction. Now in schoolhouse.world, you can get uh, unlimited free tutoring. We're starting with high school math and SAT, but we're going to go into other subjects uh, as quickly as we can. How many how many people are using Schoolhouse right now? Well, that that literally just got started uh, in January. So we have the states of New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Mississippi who've kind of joined forces to make it a statewide tutoring platform. And so right now we have in the order of about ten thousand students. We could we could add several ten thousand more uh, literally overnight. 